whatever you do, don't forget about this verse. We know this verse, we hear this verse, but I don't think we necessarily apply this verse. And this verse covers literally, and I mean literally everything. This is Romans 8, 28 and famous words. You know it, you probably memorized this. So let's go over it again. And we know that God causes, it's God that does this. And his word is uh, sunerge, which is him working with. God is causing all things or working with all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. So obviously this is referring to people like us, people who are his, who love God. If you love God, you're going through something. I don't care if the something that you're going through is good, bad. If there's a change of something, maybe you're changing a job, you lost a job, uh, someone's got hurt, you're going through something painful, you're going through something good, you're going through something that's inconvenient, something that's uncomfortable, whatever it is. Guess what? Even if, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to sound odd, but even if it's sin, he says he causes all things, panta, all, all the things, you name it, you pick it, you describe it, whatever it is, all things, God has taken that and he's working that to do what? Uh, to work together for good, for good to those who are called according. So think about it this way. If he's working it for your good, even if it's sin, even if it's you doing something good, even if it's something that's hurting, even if it's something that's hard, something that's difficult, something that is inconvenient, whatever it is, something that's embarrassing, something that's about health, a death in the family, any of those things, he's taking that and he's causing it to work for good in you, ultimately to achieve his purpose. But it still says for good, for good to who? To those who are called according to him his purpose. So that's us. If you are a believer, you have been called according to his purpose and whatever it is, it is going to work for your good. Now, that does mean a few things. Theologically, the impl implication is this, that whatever is going on in your life because the Holy Spirit is working in you, even if a person is involved in sin, even if a person is, involved, is, is going through some time of doubt or what have you, some sort of testing, uh, it's going to work for the benefiting of that person to strengthen that person which is another reason why we say it is impossible for a person to be in a justified state before the lord and then later on not because that would mean that he did not cause those things to work for your good so for example if a person has struggling with a particular sin what is god going to do cause that to work for that person's good if that person is indeed in christ how do we know so because in james what does james say James says, consider it all joy when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. He is going to use those things to grow you, to develop you. It's just like having extra weight put on you eventually while it's hurting, while you're failing. Eventually, you're going to be able to move that way. If it's if it's someone that is literally trying your patience after a while, you'll get better and be more calm in dealing with those things. You'll you'll become a patient person, whereas in the past, you weren't. God will take those things to build you and develop you. You can't handle a situation unless you've already gone through those situations before. Rarely is a person that can enter into a situation for the first time and not have any problems. Everyone has something difficult they go through, and the only way to make it out of that difficult process is to go through that difficult process. And so God is going to use that strengthening you with the Holy Spirit. That's why it's a true statement. And Paul makes a point that I'm confident that he who began, that's God who began a good work, he will complete it. It's God that will complete it. That's why we can go back to this passage that says that all things that happen, God will cause or will work in all those things for the good of those. So whatever it is, whatever it is you're going through, good, bad, and different, what's he going to do? And so I think it's important to remember that no matter what it is you're doing, you're in school, you're in work, you're teaching, uh, you're in the factory, you're in a hospital, you're in a courtroom, uh, you work for some some company so somewhere in tech, you're at, you're at home, you're a housewife or what have you, whatever it is, just remember that. Amen.